What's going on YouTube? Today we are trying crunch taters from Lay's. So if we all know Home Alone or have seen the movie, you have seen these chips in that scene where Kevin was eating all that junk food. He was eating ice cream, chips, Cokes, everything. Um, well, Pepsi, I think, was the first one. And then the next one was Coke. Yeah, so either way, um, you might have seen the, this bag in that scene. Um, so he had the barbecue flavor. I did a review on those. Uh, these are the original. So they're regular potato chips. Um, anyway, here's what they look like. Kind of regular potato chips. Um, if anyone likes to read nutritional facts, finally, a video that actually a bag that actually focuses. Um, good. Anyway, it says throwback uh, crunchiness. That's so good. Has the little crunch tater at the bottom, crunch gator guy. Uh, these are limited time. These are only at Dollar General, so these are Dollar General exclusives. Um, so yeah, let's dive in. So here's what they look like, regular potato chips, nothing special. But they are more crunchy and they are um, more like kettle chips. If any of you have ever heard of the Miss Vicky's uh, jalapeno chips or any type of Miss Vicky's chip, uh, that's what these are like. Mm. Okay. So definitely way more crunchy than crunchier than a potato chip, um, like the regular ones. They're the same type of thickness. It looks like maybe a little thicker, but that's what I would definitely um, rate rank them with kettle chips for sure. Um, they have a good saltiness to them so sometimes with Lay's they don't really put that much salt in their uh, chips but this one's not bad has a good seasoning to them mm. now well, I would rate them. These, This particular bag wasn't in the movie. There was the barbecue ones, but the Mesquite, Mighty Mesquite, I did a review on those, so um, check that one out. I would rank these um, 1 out of 10. I'd, I'd give them, um, I would give them, I'd give them an 8. Just based on the crunchiness, the flavor and hmm. one got away from me. Hmm. Two got away from me. Hmm. Um, yeah, I'll give them about an eight for sure. Um, just like they're described on the bag. Um, originally going into these, I thought they'd be like little um alligator type shapes but no they're just regular chips but yep definitely go try them while you still can they're a limited time release so um hopefully your dollar general will have them um mine got a decent amount but last time i was there they ran out so trying to find them now is 
at least in my area, pretty hard. But I know in big cities or other type of parts of the country, you'll probably find them a lot easier. Because in New Mexico, we can't find nothing. <laughs> it takes us like a week or two before we finally get it after everyone else has already been able to try it and review it. So um, anyway, that will do it for this video. So feel free to like, comment, subscribe, and share. More reviews coming up in the future as well as other types of videos. So not just reviews or soda reviews or stuff like that. So yeah, and also feel free to follow me on Facebook. Um, I haven't posted anything on there, uh, mainly just because I have no followers. So kind of no point in fault and, you know, uh, posting anything, but yeah, check me out there. It's, uh, two words, first name, Al, Al, and then the E L. And then the second word, the last name is Beanster. And then for my second channel for RNJ destruction, that one will be Ruben as the first name and Justin as the last name. And you'll be able to find me and you'll see my logos and everything. So, uh, yeah, feel free to do that, and uh, we'll see you in the next one. Thank you.